Joshua Smith here, and welcome to the GSD Mode Podcast. Now get shit done and smash that subscribe button now. What is up, my peeps? Joshua Smith here at GSD Mode Studios with another weekly leveling up episode. And today I'm here to talk to you guys about patience. Look, the reality is, is it's probably going to take you much longer than you anticipate, than you plan, than you think to create the success that you're wanting to create. On our leveling up journeys, that's just part of the process, dude. Everything, almost everything, I shouldn't say everything, but just about everything that I've ever done, that I've ever sought out to go out there and succeed at, has taken so much more time, so much more energy, so much more effort, so much more money. It just takes more time. So we need to be prepared for that. And there's also some things that we need to do and not focus so much on time, right? But focus on the vision that we have so we can stay in the game. Look, the only way that you're going to level up and continue creating success in the areas of your life that you want to create success, whichever area that may be, you know, right, is to stay in the game. We got to stay vested. We got to stay focused. We got to stay in the game and just prepare for it. And look, hopefully I'm wrong. Hopefully it won't take as long, whatever whatever your success journey is. Hopefully it won't take you as long as you think it's going to take to create. I've had several things, several projects and so forth, where it's like, boom, man, it just kind of blindsides me and I hit it out of the gate, hit it out of the park much quicker than I anticipated, you know, but that's the, I mean, that's a tiny minority of things where I've created that success. Again, most things have taken so much more time, so much more energy, so much more effort, so much more focus, so much more planning and so much more time than I ever anticipated that it would take. And that's what I'm here to break down and talk with you about today and give you some tips and strategies. So then that way you can stay in the game and stay on your success journey and continue leveling up. Now, real quick though, before I jump into this, if you haven't already, make sure to download my newest book, my new book, Dominate Your Real Estate Business Top Tips from a Top Producer. Just released this bad boy, or I guess it depends on when you're watching this, but you can snag your free copy now at Joshua Smith freebook.com. Again, Joshua Smith freebook.com. Nothing being sold, no BS, no fluff, just a, a ton of different strategies and tips and tactics that I've learned on my success journey over the years, building my real estate business to help you dominate and crush it in your real estate business. So again, Joshua Smith freebook.com. All right, guys, let's jump back into the topic at hand. And again, we're here to talk about today how to stay in the game and when things are taking longer than you anticipated. Maybe you thought, maybe you're trying to grow your business and you thought, you know, oh shit, man, I'm going to be knocking out of the park. I'm going to be crushing it in a year, two years, three years, whatever. And it's taking longer than anticipated. I was just talking with a good buddy of mine, just recently had him on the podcast, one of the top individual agents uh, in the country. And you know, he, he's living a good life today. Not, I shouldn't say a good life, living an exceptional, great life today. And what he does for his business and inside his business today is vastly different than how he created the momentum and the success that, that uh, you know, he's created today. And I asked him, you know, because he's like, oh, man, I pretty much just do an email a week and sell, you know, 100 homes a year and so forth. But I asked him because I, I wanted to make sure that we didn't sell a false picture to, to our GSD Mode podcast listeners to you guys. So I asked him, I'm like, well, how long did it take to set the foundation uh, to set the sex, successful foundation that you've created where now you can, you know, get away with not having to work near as hard. And uh, his response was 15 years. I'm not saying that it's going to take you 15 years, you know, whatever, but it might, right? But the time's going to pass anyway. We can't get caught up in that. In the world that we live in today with Amazon and, you know, one click away from anything that we want in this instant gratification society that we're in, uh, which I get, there's certain things I'm impatient on. There's certain things that we can get at a click of a button, but creating success, whether it's in your health, whether it's in your business, whether it's in your relationships, what, what, any part of your life, any, any, any true success worth obtaining takes time and we got to be willing to play the game, right? Um, so, uh, I'm just going to walk you guys through a few tips here that help me, uh, stay focused. Cause again, man, this is something that uh, comes up over and over and over and has in my life as well as 
everybody that I talk to, everybody that I've interviewed on the podcast and everybody that I talk to, and I try to do as much as I possibly can to surround myself with super achievers, extremely highly successful people that have created a hell of a lot more success than me uh, in doing everything I can to pick their brains and learn from them. And I can tell you, you know, again and again and again from these conversations, it's the same thing. You know, right? Um, I mean, it's been said that it can take five years to create a foundation of a business. It can take 10 years to create any type of, of a level of success in a business um, and, and create that, that great momentum. And again, some people hit it out of the park sooner, right? But we got, we got to stay focused on the game, man. We got to get out of this instant gratification mindset and so forth. All right. So here, here are my tips to be able to stay in the game. Number one, stay focused on your long-term vision, right? And, and just be mentally prepared that dude, like for me, I don't care how long something's going to take. Of course, I want it sooner than later. We all do. We're all wired that way. That's how we, you know, dude, it's how, how we're conditioned, how we're wired, how we've been domesticated. We all, we all want things sooner than later. I get that. Right. Uh, but if things are taking longer, I'm staying focused on my long-term vision. Why I started in the first place, why this thing is so important to me. I stay focused on that each and every day. And when, when I say, when I stay focused on that, you know, this is where, you know, I'm a big uh, believer personally. I know it's not for everybody, but I'm a big believer in vision boards, you know, and, and, and manifestation and keeping that stuff uh, up front of mind. So I'm always stay focused on why I started this journey in the first place, because again, you guys, this stuff can get discouraging. So there, there can be times, I mean, I've had certain projects and certain businesses, you know, that I've been down and out for a year on, you know, right? Like just getting kicked down and kicked down and kicked down and getting the shit kicked out of us and so forth, right? This stuff, it it's easy to get discouraged, but we can't allow ourselves to get just discouraged, right? So, you know, at least once a day, uh, uh, whether it's a, a visual, a, a vision board visual, images that you put up in your office or, or in, your, in your bathroom mirror or whatever, um, that you can stay focused on. And when I say stay focused on, I'm talking, you know, less than 60 seconds a day where you're able to, to keep that front of mind uh, as well as manifest on, on what life's going to be like once you've created that and why you started this journey in the first place. Stay then, then number two, stay. So that's number one. Number two is stay focused on growth. And growth can come in a lot of ways. You know, if we're just speaking business, a lot of times, you know, people think of growth as just making more money. Well, dude, I mean, I've had massive growth years where I, I didn't necessarily make more money. Maybe I've made the same amount of money, but I was able to do it and automate certain things and do it in less time, you know, right? But some growth isn't always monetary, you know, right? Um, I've had times in my life and in my business where I've, I've lost a lot of money and, and I've, but I grew massively through those lessons and those became my number one assets, right? So I'm going to stay focused on growth. Am I growing as a person? Am I growing as an entrepreneur? Am I, am, am I moving the needle forward? Am I gr gaining knowledge, right? And sometimes that knowledge is gained through negative experiences. Sometimes we get, you know, we get, we get knocked back, we get knocked down, right? Um, and those are all great growth moments. So I'm staying focused on growth. Am I better today? right? Through the hard lessons that I've learned, through the good lessons that I've learned, through the tough lessons and so forth. Am I better today than I was yesterday? Am I, am I better today than I was six months ago? Am I better today than I was 12 months ago and so forth? So stay focused on growth. Um, number three, stay focused on the daily process. Steve Jobs talked about this a lot. You've got to fall in love with the process. The outcome is what we want to create. Right. Um, and, and we already talked about that. That's the vision, you know, why we got started, what we want to create. But then from there, it's not that I'm not going to focus on that every day. I'm going to spend that minute or a couple minutes on that. Like I talked to you guys about, or maybe as much as 20 minutes on that and visualization, so forth, manifestation and visualization. But then the rest of the day, man, I'm going to be focused on the daily process. What are the daily actions that I took today that are getting me one step closer? to that outcome. And again, we need to fall in love with the daily process, the daily actions that we're taking that are allowing us to grow, allowing us to get one tiny step closer to the outcome that we want, because that's truly what's going to lead us there, right? The outcome might be, hey, I want to lose 100 pounds, but falling in love with the daily process is falling in love with the, the daily workouts, right? The daily meal prep, uh, the daily discipline that it takes to go out there and, and, and do the things that I need to do on a daily basis that are going to lead to that outcome. All right. So number four, and then I already talked about this a little bit in this episode, which is be patient. I know us is, is driven people. If you're watching this series, man, you are somebody that's driven. You're more than likely an entrepreneur and somebody that's driven, right? Um, and for driven entrepreneurs and, and people that are 
wanting to level up on a massive level tend to be very impatient. And there's elements of our life where being impatient is okay. But then there's elements where, man, it can, it can hinder you. It can hurt you. You know, we don't want to stop three feet short of gold. We need to be patient, remembering why we started in the first place and be extremely patient. Now, when I go out to a restaurant, if I'm, if a hostess sits me uh, uh, or the host sits me at a, at a table and it's 10 minutes before a server comes up, offers you a drink, whatever. Yeah, in those instances, dude, I get impatient and so forth. And that's okay. We can have different areas of our life where we can be impatient at. Um, but when it comes to creating lasting long-term success, we've got to be patient with it. We've got to be able to stick in the game. We've got to just mentally understand that instant gratification does not exist in the business world. We need to be patient. You can be hyper impatient on the daily actions that you're doing, trying to squeeze as much in. You know, Gary Vee talks about this a lot, how he's massively impatient with, with you know, the, his daily processes, the daily actions that he's taking, trying to squeeze as much into each and every day, each and every hour and so forth, but being very patient on the long-term outcomes that we want to go out there and create. Because again, we got to stick with the game, right? So don't get caught up um, in in uh, uh, the time that it takes to to create what you're going to create. The time is going to pass anyways, right? Which takes me to the last point. And again, this is just a kind of a mental framework that I operate by. But for me, um, I'm willing to give it the time. I know that the time is going to pass anyway. And personally, you know, if, I, if, I'm, ho if I'm hoping for the best, planning for the worst, you know, right? So worst case, I don't accomplish my dreams, goals, and visions, right? Um, Best case, I accomplish them, boom, uh, go out there and live in the life that I truly want to live. Well, I would rather fall short knowing that I gave it my all than the opposite of not even jumping into the game. You know, right? So that I'm not that's what scares me the most is is getting to the end of this life and realize that we didn't even play the game, man. We we had this all these wants lists and you know, all these things that we wanted to go out there and create, but we didn't have the courage, we didn't have the discipline, we didn't have the balls or, or the guts or whatever you want to say to jump on the field, play ball, and play the game. No, I'm gonna jump in the game, man. You know, I'm gonna give it the time that it's going to take. It's the time's gonna pass anyway, right? I, I don't care if it takes five years, ten years, twenty years, right? Like I am committed to this process and I will spend the rest of my life committed to the process and spend the rest of my life making these dreams come a reality even if they never become a reality that's still way better to me than the alternative of knowing that I never jumped in the game in the first place right to me that's worst case scenario all right you guys so again man just stick with it stick with the process stay focused on, on why you started in the first place don't allow yourself to get impatient look in this noisy world that we're in everybody appears to be an instant gratification you know a rock star that came out of nowhere and so forth most of it's bullshit there's so much smoke and mirrors that exists out there most people uh the success that they 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 portray that they've created and the lives that they live most of it's a shit show man most of it's a smoke screen most of it most of it doesn't exist social media makes it extremely easy for for it to appear that people are living lives that they're not truly living don't get caught up in that man this is your game dude this is your path right this is the road that you're traveling on stay in your lane right don't get caught up in the comparison uh, um, uh, and just stick to that daily process, stick to your vision, never get up and never give up and keep executing. All right, guys, that's what I got here for today's leveling up episode. I hope that you found this helpful. Keep up the amazing work. Keep kicking ass, keep leveling up, and I will see you next time. Peace. Hope you enjoyed this GSD mode podcast episode. Now make sure you get shit done and smash that subscribe button now.